Hello everyone and welcome to the opening UCI weekend to the North American Cyclocross calendar. We are at Go Cross in Roanoke, Virginia to kick things off and we have a really nice course to kick off the season. 3.2 kilometers, slightly longer than previous editions, that's thanks to the organizers adding a couple of UCI only sections. In previous years, the course used to flow really well and you were able to carry momentum anytime you were going back uphill. This year, the course still flows well, but there's more elevation added, more hard pedaling, and more explosive accelerations needed. So, we just came off the start finish straight into the hole shot and already there's some added elevation to thin things out here. While the course doesn't seem all that challenging, the heat for the weekend will certainly take a toll on the riders. Right now, we are forecasted for about 85 degrees with high humidity both days. It's important to break down the course into sections, know when to rest, when to regulate your efforts early, and how to save your matches for the final laps. So, already going by pit one, up and over the flyover. Quick addendum to the course here, I talked to Frank Deal, the race promoter, director of Go Cross. Right before that 180 turn, they're planning to add the barriers right at that section. So you come up and over the flyover, it seems like you're able to carry good speed, but the section's uphill. So you're gonna have to, at the top of the hill, over the barriers, and then take that 180. It doesn't seem like they're the full 40 centimeter barriers. They look to be about 30 to 35, so some people will surely be hopping them, but just keep an eye out for that. Coming back, we're continuing to climb, coming into the sand pit here. Right now, there's a really solid line right down the middle. I remember in 2019, they graded the sand for the first couple laps. So for the first couple laps of the race, it'll be pretty loose, may not be a prominent line right there. So just keep an heads, heads up for that. So this next part of the course, really fast and flowy. Remember we're talking about breaking down the course into sections. You wanna be able to maintain your speed, but this is a section of the course where you're able to take a deep breath, and recover. There isn't a ton of climbing for the next minute or so. Most of that climbing for the first third of the course was just done. So take a deep breath here, maintain your momentum, stay in the group, hold your position, and get ready for the next couple sections. So for the pre-ride, the barriers are here. Very easy to hop, but like I said, the promoters are looking to move those barriers to right after the flyover, probably 50 meters after the flyover. With the race looking to take the barriers out of that, last section you're able to carry your momentum here and again for the next 30 seconds or so you're able to just maintain that momentum rest this is a nice bank turn really enjoyable to just hold the outside line all the way around you really don't need to tap the brakes at all and you'll see here there's a beaten path right down the middle from previous race editions it's hard packed that's the fastest line a little bit of climbing up a couple routes in the course just be mindful of the equipment you'll see a little bit later on there are sections of this course where you do need to protect the tires, maybe run a little bit higher pressure. For today's pre-ride, I'm going on Grifos at 25, 26 PSI. I may bump that up a PSI just to protect the equipment. So 180 turn at the bottom, very easy to bunny hop those stairs. Previous editions, you had that horseshoe left. This year, you're going right. Be careful as you start to bend right, there are routes that can be a little sketchy with that high speed turn. This is one of those parts of the course where you really can carry the momentum well and you wanna go tape to tape. Minimize the braking. If you're able to cut down on the braking, you're able to cut down on extra watts that you need to re-accelerate. So we just went by pit two there. You'll see that both pit exchanges are gonna be very fast if you have to go in. First pit, about 30 seconds after the whole shot, you're gonna be carrying a lot of speed into that. Second pit, slightly downhill. There really isn't any reason for you to go into the pit unless you have a serious mechanical issue. So, shortly after the pits, 180 turn around the tree, up these stairs. It's a lot steeper than you think, these railroad tied stairs. Remount at the top. And this is one of those parts of the course where the promoters made it a little bit more difficult. We're going back down the hill, horseshoe, back up. This is one of those hard accelerations and these accelerations will pay a toll on your body over the course of the hour or 45 minutes or however long you're racing. You really have to gauge your effort well. Coming up here, this is gonna be the first UCI section here. Amateur races will stay straight after that slight right. UCI races are taking a harder right and we're gonna add this little bit of an off camber to this section of the course. Breaks it up, again, you're gonna to have to accelerate really hard after this. 
up and around this tree starts to come back down this is where the two sections of the course meet back up again and there's a really nice little reprieve catch your breath flowing turns nothing really challenging here for the next 10 seconds or so before you start to go back up the hill a couple nice flowing turns there opportunity to catch your breath really go tape to tape minimize the use of your brakes to use your momentum to come back up this hill again over the course of the race these efforts will add up find that beaten path right in the middle that's the easiest place to ride and we're coming at the farthest part away from the start finish area and you'll start to see there's some rocks and roots in the course these could cause some issues for your equipment if you're not very careful if you're not looking where you're going or if your tire pressure is too low just be mindful of these rocks and roots choose your lines carefully come into this section with composure and again some rocks and roots through this wooded section here this is going to be really fast it's going to be a nice flowing section coming around the back side of the course you're really able to open it up no need to use your brakes here just on the gravel things start to smooth out as you come out of the wood section it starts to bend slightly here onto this path and right at the end of this path you're going to bend left onto a bike path and it's going to be uphill it's going to be a really solid sprint you're going to carry your momentum really well into this again really no need to use your brakes but if you're in a big gear you have to hold that gear all the way up this hill or else you're shifting as you're accelerating going up and over this climb we're coming into a little brake checkpoint here over the top of this little bike path climb quick horseshoe left right left Breaks up the speed, momentum, hard acceleration right after you had to carry your speed up and over that climb. And we're really coming into the last 200 meters of this course here. It's going to be very fast. Last year, there were a couple of chicanes through here. But this is going to be very high speed. And it seems to me that if you're leading through these last couple turns, you're able to lead onto the pavement. It's going to bode very well. This is another UCI-only section. Up the side of the hill, and again, these efforts will add up couple sharp turns there's a couple opportunities to pass before you get on the pavement but protect your space you're onto the pavement it's about 100 150 meters to the finish line here so that wraps it up for the go cross course preview thank you very much for watching and i look forward to kicking off the season and seeing you at the races